there you go. So I'm just going to do one final video on the balustrades uh, for this project to show you how to do a solid, or sorry, a plain glass sheet, uh, which obviously wouldn't be buildable, but uh, is maybe a good option to have for uh, concept type presentations, which is really what you're doing. So if you have a look at your railings and go to edit type, you'll see that you have two options there to edit the railing structure and the baluster placement. So the first one there, when you click edit, is for the rails. And if you look at this handrail, you can see it's got a series of horizontal bars, which are all set up as rails. Cancel that. And then if you click edit for the baluster placement, you'll see it has a series of posts. So these are balusters 25 mil, which Again, looking at the picture there, are these vertical elements. So we want something much simpler than that. We just want a plain sheet. So what we need to go and do is set up one of those things. In this case, it's the rail uh, to represent or to um, make the shape of the, the glass that we want. So I'm going to make a new file. I was just showing you that so you have an idea how, uh, how railings work. So on the main menu, I'm going to go to New, and then Family. And then, scrolling down, you'll see there's a template in that folder called Metric Profile. So you don't want just any of those profile. There's quite a few there that have profile in the name. But it has to be just Metric Profile with nothing else in the name. And it'll open up a file which has just two reference planes to mark the intersection. And so I'm going to go to the line tool and click on the rectangle button in the draw panel. And I'm simply going to start drawing a rectangle from the intersection of those two reference planes and go up and to the right and basically just do it any size. I'm not too worried about the exact size there. So I'm going to come back and adjust it. So I'm going to press escape twice so that I can then select the line at the top and I want that to be a metre from the reference plane. So I'm going to change the dimension there to a thousand. Uh, have a look at the controls for railing heights in the BCA and you'll see you can make them a little bit lower on a staircase but a metre is, is good. Uh, and so then it's glass so I want this to be, well in real life it would be less than 20 mil, but I'm going to make it 20 mil just so it shows up well in the drawing. So I'm going to select this line on the right and then change that dimension to 20. And now I want my glass sheet to come down below the, the steps in my uh, staircase and below the floor as well. So I'm going to select that. I'd oh, no, actually, sorry, I've got two. Uh, that's right, we, we want to do one along the floor. So, so I'm going to leave that uh, as it is. So I'm just going to go to Save As, Family. And we'll call it um, Rectangle 1000 by 20. Don't want to do parameters here, so I'm just going to put the size in to the name there, and then I'm going to select the line there at the bottom, zoom out so I can see the dimension, and change that to uh, 1250, which will obviously bring that down to 50 mil. And then I'll just do a save as family again and change the name there to Rectangle 1250 by 20. So now I'll click Load into Project and tick the project file that I want. Click OK and switch to the Uh, which view? Section box, I think. Yep. 
don't worry, I've just changed that wall colour for something else. So I'll start with the railing on the stair. So I'm going to go to Edit Type when that railing selected, duplicate, and we'll just call it Plain Glass Stair. Okay, and then for the uh, rail structure, I'm just going to go to uh, edit, select the first rail, rail one, and then click delete, and then just keep clicking delete to get rid of all of those rails except for the last one, and I'm going to change the height there to zero, and then the profile in that list I can change to rectangle 1250 by 20. Now the material, at the end I'll just hit browse there and choose my regular glass material in the list that comes up on the left. Glass, OK, so that's set the material. OK, again, so I've set the glass, but now I need to clear out all those balustra the balusters. So I'm going to go to Edit next to Baluster Placement. So that's the second Edit button there. And then whether it's got Baluster Family there, set the first one to None. And down the bottom, all of the Baluster Family options there, also to None. Okay, and then the last option is to set the top rail as well to none. That's it, click OK. And you can see then we've got a plain sheet of glass running alongside the edge. Um, so now, so you can see there that it's got the glass coming down to below the steps. But the railing that I have on the floor, alongside the floor, I don't want it to go down next to my floor. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently. And to do that I need to get my other profile, the other uh, file I made uh, first. So I need to go and open that again and find rectangle 1000 by 20. Load into project. Make sure I've got the right one selected. OK. Back to my section view. Select this one. And I'll start by changing it to the plain glass stair railing in the list in properties there. So you can see then again that it goes down below the floor. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to edit type and go to edit the rail structure and simply change that profile to the other one. No, oh, sorry, no, sorry, we got one step. Sorry, not thinking. Uh, so the type there, plain glass there, I need to duplicate before doing that step. Duplicate and we'll just call it plain glass. So then again, the rail structure now I can change to a thousand by twenty. Okay, okay, done. So, so subtle little things sometimes can seem like extra work, but in the long run, make life a lot easier. So, I'll oh, okay, I'll have a look at it in a sec. So just as a final note, um, on the uh, the floor and the ceiling there, you can see that my edge is exposed. And there's a couple of ways of getting around that. If you notice this, when you have that exposed in your own projects, next to a stair, you'll often see that happening. There's a few ways around it. The the tool that's set up in Revit for that is, is uh, Slab Edge, under the floor tool there. And that is how you'd build it. You'd put a fascia onto the edge there to cover that up. But 
a quicker way of getting around it is just to paint the edge. So you can use the paint tool there. And I know the finished material is one that I've used for a lot of other things, so I can just choose it here in the list and paint that surface the same colour. Just a little thing, but it might make your life easier. Alright, so I'll, I'll finish it there, but hopefully that'll help you if you want to do that sort of rowing. Well.